morning, you guys. I slept like complete crap last night. So I'm running on like no sleep. Um, still used to that night shift life, so it just feels weird. I'm very excited to be on days though. And I'm hoping that I just catch on to this early morning stuff quick. Um, I woke up at, well I went to sleep at like 10.30. And then, um, woke up at about 12.30 and, um, could not go back to sleep. I went out on the couch and hung out with Sammy for a little bit to try to, like, get tired and that did not work. I ended up tossing and turning in bed. I was freezing at first and then I put sweats on and a sweatshirt and then I was sweating. It was just miserable also i am extremely sore from my arm day that i did in my last video um and so it was like every time i was moving it was like my arms were going numb sleeping on my arms so that was fun but i'm just happy to be starting my new job it is monday april 4th so the kids are actually just getting back from spring break and so they're probably gonna be just as out of it as I am and so oh yeah I never even told you guys I am a school nurse at an elementary school and today is my first day um so I probably won't be able to show you guys very much I'm not even really sure what is going to be happening today I mean introducing myself to the teachers other staff members um the students all that stuff um, other than that I really don't know um, but they have an office for me apparently which I have nothing for still kind of trying to debate if I want to do anything with my office obviously I want to do a little bit with it but I'm not sure how much because my um, school is over in a couple months for summer and that is why I told you guys in my last video that I actually will be, um, once summer's here, I will be going back to bedside nursing. So, um, yeah, I don't really get too long to get comfortable here before I have to go back to the hospital for a few months. And then I'll be back at the school again. But, just wanted to say good morning, give you guys a little update. I saw, or you guys saw, I did do the Peloton this morning as well. I did a quick 30 minute workout and it was absolutely pathetic. <laughs> but we got it done. I thought maybe it would help me wake up a little bit instead of getting an extra 30 minutes of sleep. Um, I was like, might as well just get up and get moving and try to wake up a little bit and get some energy. So, I will update you guys when I can. as a school nurse it was a really good day I started crashing at like 1 o'clock and I was not able to pick up my phone at all it was actually a lot busier than I thought it was gonna be I was a little worried because I am the first school nurse that this school has ever had so I was unsure if I was gonna have any orientation or who was going to show me around, what it was going to be like, if I was just going to kind of be like thrown to the wolves. I wasn't really sure. Um, sounds crazy, but I just didn't know what to expect. But um, the principal, super kind. She showed me around the whole school, introduced me to the teachers before classes started. And then she had me go around on my own and introduce myself to the students, um, explain to them what I do and what they would come to me for. And um, kids are all so cute. I got lots of hugs today. I'm actually on my way to go. My mom is dropping off her car at the dealership to get an oil change in the city. So headed there, gonna pick her up and we're gonna go get our nails done because they are horrible. Um, and then 
Uh, I think we're gonna do a little grocery shopping, probably just for her, I don't really need anything. And then one of my good friends is actually home on spring break from college and I only get to see her every once in a while because she lives a few hours away. So we are going to hang out for a little bit tonight and go out, go out somewhere and get dinner or something. So sorry I did not vlog anything today, but there wasn't really much to vlog since I was in the classroom introducing myself and um, it was just, I wasn't even able to get my phone out really at all today. So yeah, I just wanted to update you on how the day went. And um, I don't know if I said this, but the school that I teach at is actually the school that I went to all throughout my grade school and graduated high school from. And I am teaching kids, it's the lower elementary school and it is ages pre-K to second grade. Oh, but let's hope I can stay awake through this nail appointment. I'm drinking an Alani. And we're gonna go get my mom and have a little mother-daughter date, which I love. We never get these days. So, I'm looking forward to it. I'll show you guys my nails after I get them done. I'm on my way home from the city. We went and got our nails done. This is what they look like. I'm actually obsessed. I normally just do my natural nails because working on the bedside, it's just too difficult to get the longer nails because they always break. Um, so I usually just keep them natural. So it feels so good to be able to get tips. And it's almost Easter. So I went with like a little speckled blue and white. And I love them. Um, my mom has like a pastel purple color. I dropped her back off her car so she's not with me anymore but um, she had like a pastel purple color which is super pretty. She got hers done last week and a nail broke so she just came with me to get the one nail repaired and then she took my car to go grocery shopping and then her and I went to Sam's Club to get some bulk stuff and then Dropped off in her car, and now we are headed back home. Um, I didn't really get anything. I got some chips for snacks for the kids at school, and I got some Easter M&Ms that are like pastel colors. They're really pretty. And yeah, now I gotta go home and change really quick because my friend is supposed to be picking me up here in about 30 minutes. Hey guys, what's up? We just got back from, um, well I thought it was gonna be dinner. We actually went to a little like brewery slash winery place. They normally have food. We got there and their kitchen was closed. So um, I did not eat dinner, which is fine. I actually am not even that hungry because I was up like all night. I got up in the middle of the, the, middle of the night and ate a bunch of food. So I've been pretty stuffed like all day. I've just kind of been eating out of just doing, going with the flow of the first day of school. And now I'm just really, really tired. It is currently 9.22 p.m. And I think I'm going to just lay in bed, watch a little TV um, or not. Just fall asleep because I need the sleep tonight. I got like none last night. So, I am going to wash my face and get ready for bed. All right, you guys, I'm about to wash my face. I'm going to go ahead and use this Tula Cult Classic. Little, there we go. Um, Tula Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. Um, I do like this. I've been kind of trying other. Um, face stuff lately just because trying to figure out what I like what's worth the price because skincare is super expensive 
This is not very expensive. I've been using this for a while. It's like $35, I want to say. Don't quote me on that, but it's not very expensive. Um, and I do like it. Um, it doesn't really have a scent to it. It just kind of um, smells clean, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, but it's not too bad. And I'm very, my skin is like a combination of dry and oily. In the winter, I get super dry. Um, especially my nose will get like really dry and it turns really red. Um, but then it also gets super oily. So like, as you can see right now, it's pretty oily. So it just depends what I'm doing that day, the temperature, the weather outside. Um, and so I'm very, 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 I grew up with like horrible acne and I actually went on Accutane when I was... 12 or 11 yeah mm -hmm. I pretty bad acne so and if you don't know what Accutane is look it up it is very 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 intense um skincare um it's not actually skincare it's like a pill that you take and if you get pregnant on it it can cause like birth defects um miscarriages things like that so I actually had to get blood work done like all the time to make sure I wasn't pregnant Especially at my age, it's like very uncommon for them to just hand this out. And they didn't for me either. My sister was also on it. We had to do, we did like ton of dermatology appointments. Um, my mom tried a ton of different stuff with us. Nothing worked. So this was our last resort. And it actually did wonders for us. Um, it was the only thing that worked for us. And I, I love it. It changed my life. Definitely talk to your doctor. Um, I just recommend what works for me. So it worked for me and my sister, and I still get breakouts to this day, but definitely washing your face before bed is so important because I have bad habit of just going to sleep without washing my face, and it kills my face. So I've also been getting microdermabrasions um, every like four to six weeks I go, and I've been doing that for the last, uh, I've gone like four or five times, so... Um, that has definitely been a game changer for my face as well, for like my acne scars from when I was younger, because I do still have scars. And so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face, and then I'll show you guys what I use afterwards. should have used this stuff before I washed my face I just got it so I kind of forgot about it but I'm still gonna use it just to make sure I get all the makeup off um Luna hi what is it hi Luna whines a lot to get attention do you want to be in the video do you want to be in the video oh say hi say hello no, mama's girl. You big baby. Okay. Anyways, so this is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This is what it looks like. I used it the other night, and I really like the way that it felt on my skin. I don't know if it's actually taking my makeup off all the way. Um, but I definitely think you're supposed to put it on before you wash your face to like get the makeup off first and then clean your face but that's okay it's pretty like thick stuff that's what it looks like and it comes with this little scoop you really don't need too much 
kind of feels weird when you first put it on. It's like an oil, oil base. It smells really good though. It smells like a eucalyptus mint. It was so good to see my friend Carly though, you guys. I just love her. We have been best friends since, shoot, for as long as I can remember. Um, but we've been friends for a very long time. She is just so kind, and I she's doing so good, and she seems so happy, and it's always just so good to catch up with friends that you don't get to see that often. And this is another new product I'm trying out that I've heard really good things about. It's called Paula's Choice. I've heard really good things about all of these products, but it's the Exfoliate, and it's supposed to be good for... All skin types it says unclogs and shrinks in large pores, smooths and even skin tone. Lightweight liquid absorbs quickly. So you're supposed to put this on and actually leave it on. So I've been putting this on the last like two nights. So still can't give you guys like a full review. So far though, it hasn't made me break out or anything. It says to put it on with a cotton pad. And then I'm just going to put on this pharmacy brand Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. And you guys, so far, like I said, I've only used this for a couple of days now. So far, I absolutely love this stuff. I'm like a huge moisturizer person because my face gets so dry. And I love how hydrating this stuff is. It is super thick, so you don't need much. So this tube will last a while. And it's not too expensive, I don't believe. I got it off of Sephora, but I believe you can also get it off of Pharmacy's website. It comes with this little spatula as well as the other pharmacy product I showed you. But this one actually is a magnetic to the lid. So it just sticks right on there so you won't lose it ever, which I love. Because I hate when I have long nails, especially dipping my nails into this. It just, it's gross. It gets all up under your nail. if you guys can see the kind of texture of it I love it like immediately feels so good and hydrating and that is all I'm going to put on for tonight. Pretty basic, not a whole lot for my nighttime. <sighs> but I am, yeah, my lips are feeling pretty dry, so I'm going to throw on my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. If you have not tried it, try it. I promise you, I did not want to buy it for the longest time. People talk about it all over social media. And I did not know if it was worth it for just a chapstick. And I love it. I hate just using any plain chapstick. This is the only thing I will go to. And I only have one right now. I really need to. It's like lasting me forever. I've had it since the summer. I still have a ton left. But I really need to buy one for just to have like in my car, in my purse. Um, cause right now I just have one that I keep at my house in my bathroom. So I, whenever I need it, I don't have it and I have to use regular chapstick, which I hate now. So I'm going to go grab that and put that on. I just had to bring you guys into my other bathroom cause this is where I keep the sleeping mask. This is what it looks like. I have the berry. They have a ton of different flavors now. This is their original. And... Comes with this little 
thing as well. So. Okay, and that is my little trial skincare routine. I'll show you guys what I got from Sam's Club since I have it out on the table. So. Flip you guys around here. So, these are the M&Ms that I got. They're just milk chocolate. I didn't want to get the ones with peanut butter in them or with peanuts because of allergies. A lot of the students have peanut allergies, so we just stayed away from that. But I love the color of these. Perfect for Easter and just fun for the younger kids. And then I just had these, so I am going to take those in as well. And then I got this big bag of just a mixture of Fritos, Lay's, Ruffles, Doritos, Cheetos. So that is just a few things that I got. I also got, which I put in the fridge. They are, these look so good. I found these at Sam's Club. My mom got them too. Woo! It is these seasoned chicken for lettuce wraps. I love lettuce wraps. So it's only, um, it doesn't come with the lettuce, just the meat, obviously the seasoned chicken, but it looks so good. I'm actually going to head to bed, you guys. I'm really tired, as I've already told you a million times, but sorry for not vlogging much today. I hope you got a little bit of something out of my first day um or just enjoyed watching but um the longer i work here the more i'll be able to give you more information about what it is exactly that i do i'm still just trying to figure it all out but if you are a school nurse or have had experience as a school nurse or any comments or questions please comment them below if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that way you guys don't miss any future videos. I've really been enjoying vlogging for you guys these last few days and I hope you've been enjoying the videos as well. But I am going to hit the sack and get some sleep. I will see you guys all in my next video. Talk to you soon. Thanks for watching guys.